Hi, while it was cold last night, you could hardly say the same for today. It was a smidge of 24 degrees in the city, a good five higher than normal for this time of year. Our junior weather watchers at Rawlinson Primary are doing a great job at taking the weather. They recorded a top of 23 degrees in the playground, which was spot on, and a big hello to all the year twos there. Now, the warm spell comes as a high directs east and northeasterly winds across the city. It's set to stay in the bite tomorrow, but come Thursday, a low south of the state could spread showers as far north as Lancelin, possibly continuing into Friday. Interstate will be cold and showery in Adelaide and Melbourne, while Sydney will be sunny after what was a wild night. Cyclonic conditions due to strong southerly winds off the coast reach speeds of over 100 kilometres an hour, blacking out more than 14,000 homes. The SES were kept busy with hundreds of calls for help to clear uprooted trees, the trail of damage extending all the way from Cronulla up to Palm Beach. Here in the west, rain will clear the Kimberley, Broome will be sunny and 30 tomorrow and 27 the top for Exmouth. Staying warm too for many in the south with very little wet weather forecast. Just a few showers are expected between Margaret River and Albany and some drizzle in Esperance. Great conditions on the water again, winds staying light and seas at only half a metre. Now tomorrow will be sunny and 23 again after it dips to 5 tonight but we could be in for a shower on Thursday and Friday then back to dry weather after that so enjoy tomorrow it's back to you Dixie Greg